Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reviewing this jump starter and power station that I purchased from eBay Australia for about 60 Australian dollars. This device promises to um, jump start vehicles that have got flat battery, for example, and also work as a power station for a range of devices such as computers and iPads, um, cameras, video game consoles, notebooks, projectors, and again, vehicles. It says in here on the top, jump starter power station. On the left, multifunction jump starter. And on the bottom says, car engine start, high security, mobile power bank, flashlight, mini lightweight. All right, let's have a look on what's inside. Apparently comes in the inside a case. It's a pretty cool case actually. Zipper. So inside the case, there is a user's manual. Tiny. Probably has everything that you need. It has illustrations, which is good. Simple, but Good. Put it here on the side. There is AC adapter for charging the device. Put it there. Also, the clamps. Try to get them out. Yep, positive, negative clamps, red, black, this is the connector, yep, looks pretty good to me, put it there, and finally, there's the device itself, yes, High power automobile emergency mobile power supply. And there is a on off button here. What looks like three lights, could be flashlights. Um, nothing really on the sides. In the back, just a label. Jump started with the model JX27. Battery capacity 99,800 milliampere. Um, here on this side, there are input and output USB. Yeah, so there is a connector here, probably for the charger. One, two, three, four USB, one Type C. And this tab, this rubber tab is here most likely to protect the ports from dust and water. Um, here on the side, there's a little rubber tab. Let's see what's in it. Um, this is the this is where the, the clamps connect to the device. So again, there is a little rubber tab to protect the connections from dust and water. And that's basically it. Now I'll read the manual and uh, try to turn the device on to show some of its features. All right, I will try to turn the device on to check on how much battery it has got and also on how the flashlights um, work. So let's have a look. It seems to have 75% of battery because we have three steady lights. Um, so the manual says that each light corresponds to about 25% charge. Um, so it also says that the 
flashlights turn turn on when we press the power button for three seconds so this is the flashlight on the device um, if I press the button again it's gonna go into a flashing and then there also, there's also a strobe Okay, now I will test it as a power bank with a product that I have reviewed in my channel before, um, which is a mosquito killing device that is USB powered. So I will plug this into here and we're gonna see if this is gonna start charging. So that's how we're gonna um, know whether this, this device works as a power bank. Okay, so let's find the USB port. Yep, device is plugged. Now I will um, press the power button and let's see whether the mosquito zapper um, will turn on. Yes, it did. So it's charging. It's power coming from the power bank into the mosquito zapper. It does work. All right, let's check the quality of the clamps. So the clamps look pretty good. Um, plastic, the cap is plastic, but I don't think it compromises too much the quality of it. Um, inside there's the piece of metal that makes the connection with the wiring. Um, And this is the connector. If you plug in, the charging clamps is very simple. As you can see here, the connector has two different pieces. One being round and the other one having a flat part in here. Let's plug it. Let's plug it in. This is the end where the connector goes in. Just push it down and it's there. All right, this is the setup that I would use to jump start a vehicle. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, I don't have a flat battery in my car at the moment where I could test it. Um, but if that opportunity arises in the future, I will definitely make a video showing how this device behaves. So in conclusion, um, and despite not being able to test the device as a jump starter for a flat battery at this present moment, um, I believe this is a good purchase. Um, I'm happy with it. Um, I've tested it as a power bank and it did work very well. It was able to power my mosquito killing lamp. Um, and also, it's not shown in the video, but I charged my phone from 80% to 100% in about half an hour using this as a power bank. Um, so I would say it does work. And again, when the opportunity arises, um, I will show the device working as a jump starter, hopefully. Thank you for watching and see you next time.